Begin in a comfortable seated position on your yoga mat. As you inhale, find length in your spine. Draw the head slightly back so you're as tall as you can possibly be. Close your eyes. And as you inhale and exhale, feel your stomach expand on the inhale and contract on the exhale. With each exhale, let go of any thoughts. Try to clear your mind. And on the next inhale, reach the arms forward for child's pose. Lower your head onto the mat. Let your head, let your whole body be very heavy. Spread the fingers. Reach your arms out just a little bit further. Make this an active pose waking up the whole body. And as you inhale, round forward onto all fours, curl the toes and lift up for plank pose. So the hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Lift the butt slightly, not too much. And then on your next inhale, lift the hips for downward facing dog. Don't worry about whether or not your heels can reach the mat. Let your head go, almost as if you're trying to look at your belly button and then bend your right knee deeply and draw the right knee in front of the left knee in line with the left knee. Feeling a good stretch. And then intend to straighten the legs, bend the left knee deeply and bring the knee just in front of the right knee. Feeling a good stretch in the back of the right leg. On the next inhale, rise onto the toes and roll through your spine until you come into plank pose. Arms are strong. Come onto your knees. Reach back for child's pose. Let your head rest, but reach your arms forward. And then on the next inhale, round forward onto all fours. Lift the knees for plank pose. Core is active. You're pushing the mud away. Inhale, lift, downward facing dog. Inhale onto the toes, set the knees down, child's pose. Take a deep breath in, feel the belly against the thighs. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, round forward. Curl the toes, plank pose and hold. Breathe, push the mat away. Inhale, downward facing dog. Inhale onto the toes, knees come down, child's pose. Armpits long as your arms reach forward, spread your fingers, rest your head, take a deep breath in and out. On your next inhale, sit up, lift the arms, look up, reach the arms high, and then interlace the fingers, bringing them to the base of your head. Open up the elbows, reach the chest forward, look up. Little mini back bend here to warm up the spine. Exhale the shoulders away from your ears. And when you're ready, bring the elbows toward one another as your chin and chest meet, spine is long. Breathe, find length through your back. Inhale and release. Come forward onto all fours, curl the toes and lift up for downward facing dog. Noticing maybe now your heels are closer to the mat than your first downward dog of the day. Maybe they're touching the mat. No judgments, just observations. Inhale, look ahead, jump or step forward, flat back. Exhale, melt forward, bend your knees. Inhale, flat back, look ahead. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, flat back, look ahead. Exhale, melt forward. We're warming up the hamstrings. As you inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees. We'll do two more, and then we'll round all the way up. Last one here, flat back, look ahead. 
Exhale, melt forward, bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, and begin to round slowly up. Let your arms hang heavy. Let your head hang heavy. On the next inhale, step the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, arms up overhead, reach high. Exhale, dive forward like you're going swimming. When you get down as far as you can, grab opposite elbows. Keep a micro bend in the knees. And then you can stay in stillness or you can sway side to side. Whatever feels good for you, do that. With each inhale, find length along the hamstrings. With each exhale, find length from the hips all the way through the crown of the head. Come to stillness now. Take a deep breath in, feel a little lift in the upper body. Exhale, melt forward. Let the hands drop. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, slowly round up. Go slower than you want to go. Arms are heavy, head is heavy, no thoughts. Inhale, standing. Exhale, round the shoulders forward. Doing that in reverse, coming all the way down, bending the knees deeply. Inhale, intend to straighten. Exhale, melt forward just a little bit more. Maybe beginning to rock backwards and forwards, feeling the bottoms of your feet on your mat. And when you're ready, pick your right foot up, Slide the hand underneath the foot, followed by the left foot. Sliding the left hand underneath the left foot. You want your toes to touch your wrists. And when they do, rock back and forth, giving yourself a little hand massage. No tension in your neck. Let your whole upper body hang over your legs. Exhale, release, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, round slowly, all the way up. We'll come to our first vinyasa here. So step your feet together at the top of your mat, hands to your heart, shoulders away from your ears. As you inhale, engage the core, press the hips forward, lean back, very gentle. Exhale, melt forward, fingers in line with the toes, chin to shins. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look ahead. Exhale, plant the hands into the mat, step the left foot back, followed by the right foot. Plank pose. Exhale onto the knees, send the hips forward, chest forward, come all the way down onto your stomach. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, curl the toes, lift the knees, push up. Downward facing dog. Spread your fingers. Draw the thumbs toward each other. Press. On the next inhale, lift your right leg as high as you can. Spread the right toes. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Inhale onto the fingertips, lengthen the spine. Come high off the left foot. Find your balance. Inhale, rise up. High lunge. Collarbones are broad. Right knee is directly over right ankle or slightly behind. Press out of the bottom of the left foot. Back leg is strong. Inhale, hands to the front of the mat. Step back, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, roll over the toes, down dog. Take a deep breath in, find length through the spine. As you inhale, lift your left leg, spread your left toes. Exhale, step the left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale onto the fingertips, lengthen the spine. Chest is lifted, find your balance. High lunge. Press evenly into all four corners of the left foot. Right leg is strong. As you inhale, bring the hands to the front of the mat. Press into the hands, use your core to lift the left leg, step back to plank, lower down, 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take one full deep breath here. Then rise onto the toes, set the knees down and come into child's pose. Reach the arms out in front of you. Draw the armpits towards the mat. And as you inhale, round forward, plank pose. On the next inhale, lift into downward facing dog. Lift the left leg as high as you can, spread the toes. As you exhale, bend the knee. Bring the knee towards the forehead, hold. Exhale, send the right foot out to the left. Wild thing. So you're lifting the left arm, reaching back, opening up the chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot to the front of the mat. Left foot turns out 45 degrees. Lift up, warrior one. Right knee directly over the right ankle. Press to the outer edge of the left foot. Collarbones broad, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to the front of the mat. Use your core. Lift the right foot. Plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees come down. Child's pose. Reach the arms out as far as you can. Armpits draw down towards the mat. As you inhale, round forward, curl the toes, plank pose, shoulders over the wrists, butt is slightly lifted, core is engaged, push the mat away, downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift the left leg as high as you can, spread the left toes, exhale, knee towards forehead, shoulders over wrists, squeeze the abdominals. Inhale, send the left foot out to the right side. Lift the hips, lift the chest, lift the right arm, lean back, wild thing. Inhale, three-legged dog. With control, using your core strength, step the foot to the front of the mat. Turn the right foot out 45 degrees. And rise up for a warrior one. Press into the outer edge of the right foot. Left knee directly over left ankle or slightly behind, whatever feels good for you. Breathe space and length into any areas of tension. Collarbones are broad. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, hands to the front of the mat. Use your core strength. Lift the left foot, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, down dog. Inhale onto the toes, bend the knees and hop forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, melt forward, chin to shins. Inhale, rise all the way up with a flat back, mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet are together. As you inhale, press the hips forward, lengthen the low back. So try not to crunch any areas of the spine. Let your head go if that feels okay for you. Inhale, slowly fall forward, breathing space and length into the hamstrings. As you inhale, flat back, look ahead. Fingers in line with the toes if you can. Bend the knees if you have to. Exhale, plant the hands into the mat. Jump or step back, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the feet up just a couple of inches to bring your down dog into good alignment. Let your head go, armpits long. Inhale, right leg lifts, toes are spread. Exhale, shoulders over wrists, knee into forehead. Inhale, send the right shin down to the front of the mat for pigeon pose. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. 
Huff the chest out, spine is long. Stay there, or if you feel really good, really flexible, lift the arms. Interlace the hands, bring them to the base of your head, and look up. Elbows are open, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe space and length from the hips all the way up through the crown of the head. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward, coming into really good alignment. And when you're ready, slowly release. Walk the hands forward, come onto your forearms, or maybe stretch your arms all the way out. As we slow it down, you may find that thoughts begin to come to you. If they do, just let it go. Try not to pay any attention or give any energy to them. Try to focus on your breathing. The sensation of the breath as it moves through your body. Inhale, hands underneath shoulders, curl left toes, lift left knee. Activate the core, lift up, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, down dog. Step your feet up the mat a couple of inches. Invite the heels to come down to the ground. Picturing the body as an upside down letter V. And when you're ready, inhale, left foot as high as you can. Spread the left toes. Exhale, shoulders over wrists, forehead and knee to touch. Inhale, left shin comes to the front of the mat for pigeon pose. You might find that one side is easier or more difficult than the other. This is normal, don't worry about it. Keep thinking about the left hip drawing back, the right hip drawing forward. Puff the chest out, fingertips on the ground. Imagine that your knees are magnetized, so you have a lift in the pelvic floor and you can stay there, or you can bring the arms up, interlace the fingers to the back of the head, and open up the elbows, letting the shoulders draw away from the ears. But just be really mindful of where you are. If you're not feeling particularly flexible today, or you're really tight in your hip flexors, just stay in the regular pose. You don't have to take a variation. When you're ready, bring your arms to the front of the mat, Breathe space and length into any areas of tension. On the next inhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, curl right toes, lift right knee. Use your core to lift and hold. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, come forward and all the way down onto your stomach. Bend your knees, reach back and grab hold of your feet or use a strap if you can't grab hold of your feet. Try to keep your knees in line with your body. Don't let them open up too much. Activate the feet, spread your toes, and as you inhale, use your back body muscles to lift your front body up. Try to keep the knees on the mat, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale and release. Inhale, hands underneath shoulders. Exhale, child's pose. Arms reach out in front, head is on the mat. As you inhale, round forward, curl the toes, and lift the hips for downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, hop or step forward, and have a seat. Legs extend long and remove the flesh underneath the sitting bones. Flex your feet, spine is long, and as you inhale, grab hold wherever you can, maybe the shins, maybe the toes. With each inhale, find length, and with each exhale, melt the body forward. See if you can feel your belly against your thighs with each exhale as you come down further. Look straight ahead, not straight down, and that will help you to avoid rounding too much in the back. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale. Bend the right leg and press the right foot into the inner left thigh. Left foot is engaged as you spider the fingers as far as you can. 
And again with each exhale, seeing if you can feel the stomach against the thigh as you melt forward. With each inhale, find length. With each exhale, melt forward. Picturing your spine kind of like a wave from the ocean. As you inhale, come back to neutral, extend the right leg, and bend the left leg, bringing the left foot into the right inner thigh. Sit nice and tall, take a deep breath in, and then spider the fingers forward. Try to keep the left shoulder in line with the right shoulder. Don't let it lift too much. You might find that one side is easier, more difficult than the other. It's okay, just be mindful of where you are. Maybe one hamstring is more open than the other. That's normal. As you inhale, release. And as you exhale, we'll open up to work on the flexibility of the inner legs. So spread the legs as wide as you can. Activate the feet, spread the toes. Inhale, open up the arms. You wanna to try to be able to sit forward. So if your low back is rounding, sit on a yoga block and that may help you. Inhale, right arm over the body. Look up underneath the armpit. Try to straighten the arm. Toes are engaged. Breathing space and length into any areas of tension as you sit up. Open up the arms. Exhale, other side. Try to keep the arm long. Look out underneath the armpit. Fingers engaged, toes engaged. Inhale, release. Bring the hands underneath the knees and slowly bring the knees together. Bottoms of the feet touch as you open up the knees. Bring the thumbs into the arches of the feet and then peel the feet open like a book. One day the tops of your feet will come down to the ground. Press your elbows into your legs as you reach forward. Spine is really long, shoulders away from your ears. Look forward, not down. Collarbones are broad. Low back is long. As you inhale, release the pose, hands underneath the knees. Bring the knees together. Inhale, hands underneath the feet. Press the feet into the hands. Chin to chest, round the back. Breathe space and length between the shoulder blades. Inhale, release. Exhale, send the right knee in front and cross the left foot over the right thigh. Inhale, left hand behind you. Right arm lifts. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Look behind you. And you can stay there or you can take a bind. If you can't quite get the bind, but you'd like to, you can use a yoga strap to help you. Keep your spine really tall. Keep your shoulders in line. And with each exhale, turn a little bit more from the navel. When you're ready to release, unravel yourself. Send your left knee forward, right foot over left thigh. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of right knee and turn and look out over your right shoulder. Stay there or take a bind. Keep pressing into the right foot. Don't let it lift too much. Spine is really long with each exhale. Turn just a little bit more, but initiate the twist from the navel. As you inhale, release the pose and unravel the body. Extend the legs and slowly come all the way down. As you inhale, hug the right knee into the chest. Push out of the bottom of the left foot so your left leg is really long. Spread right toes. On the next inhale, we'll straighten the leg so you can take your first two fingers and grab hold of the right big toe. 
Or if that doesn't feel good, you can grab hold of the back of the leg. As you inhale, press the left hand into the left hip and open up the right leg, looking out over your left shoulder. Keep the left foot activated. Keep the right foot activated. Press the low back into the mat. Inhale back to center. Exhale, gently release and lower the leg. Taking it to the other side, hug the left knee in towards the chest. Activate the left toes. Press out of the bottom of the right foot so the right leg is engaged. Low back is glued to the mat. Inhale, straighten the left leg by either grabbing onto the big toe or the back of the leg. Press right hand into right hip. And as you inhale, open up the left leg. Trying not to let the right hip lift. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Inhale, both knees towards the chest. Grab the outsides of the knees, flex the feet, and then open up the legs. Breathe length into the inner thighs. Low back is pressed into the mat. And as you inhale, press the knees together. And then cross the right leg over the left. Cactus the hands. And as you inhale, use your core strength to bring your knees over to the right. And then look out over your left shoulder. Supine spinal twist variation. With each exhale, bring your left shoulder more towards the ground. Initiate the twist again from the navel. As you inhale, use your core to come back to center. Exhale, release the pose and cross the left leg over the right. Use your core to lower the legs to the left. Look out over your right shoulder and with each exhale, see if you can bring your right shoulder further down towards the ground. Inhale, use your core to come back to center. Exhale, unravel the legs. Toes are spread and let your legs come down slowly with control using your core strength. And when they meet the mat, spread the legs mat distance apart. Staying here in Shavasana for at least five minutes. Thank you for practicing with me today.